Dear readers, welcome to our channel Auto Age. Let's explore the world of automotive and energy technology together. Embracing technology is embracing the future. The rise of electric cars has garnered immense global attention. However, in this electric revolution, hydrogen powered cars have quietly emerged. Are you curious about hydrogen powered vehicles, but find them somewhat unfamiliar? What obstacles hinder the potential development of this futuristic technology? Let's delve into it together. Do you believe hydrogen fuel cell cars will become the next technological trend? Leading automakers like Toyota have been dedicated to advancing hydrogen fuel cell cars, believing hydrogen energy is a sustainable solution to environmental and energy issues. Yet, can this belief translate into success for hydrogen powered cars in the market? Perhaps your doubts and concerns about hydrogen fuel cell cars have made you hesitate. Are you worried about the potential dangers of storing hydrogen gas in high pressure containers? Or are you concerned about the safety of hydrogen powered cars in enclosed spaces? Let's unveil the mystery of hydrogen fuel cell cars and thoroughly examine the pros and cons of this technology. Let's begin our exploration. While electric cars from various brands are leaving a lasting impression, hydrogen powered cars remain a relatively unfamiliar concept for the general public. Hydrogen fuel cell cars fundamentally are electric vehicles, but their power source comes from hydrogen oxygen reactions not from onboard batteries like in electric cars. When we talk about hydrogen powered vehicles, we are referring to hydrogen fuel cell cars. As one of the leading automakers, Toyota has been a driving force in hydrogen energy cars. With a long term vision, Toyota believes hydrogen energy is a sustainable solution to address escalating environmental and energy issues. Compared to traditional fuel vehicles, Hydrogen fuel cell cars offer advantages like zero emissions, high efficiency, and utilization of renewable energy sources. These cars use fuel cells to generate electricity, providing efficient propulsion, lightweight design, and long-range advantages. In contrast, electric cars still face challenges in terms of range and charging time. Unlike electric cars with longer charging times, Hydrogen fuel cell cars can quickly replenish energy through hydrogen refueling, similar to the traditional refueling process for gasoline vehicles. This gives hydrogen fuel cell cars higher usability. The development of hydrogen energy cars is still in its early stages, but there are positive trends globally. Major car manufacturers such as Toyota, Honda, Hyundai, and others have either developed or are in the process of launching hydrogen fuel cell models. These manufacturers are interested in the development of hydrogen energy cars and are making substantial investments in advancing fuel cell technology and reducing costs. Additionally, governments in various countries and regions are implementing policies to encourage and support the development of hydrogen energy technology. This includes subsidies, incentives, and infrastructure support to promote the use and adoption of hydrogen fuel cell cars. Although progress in hydrogen infrastructure construction is slow, some countries and regions have begun pushing for the construction and expansion of hydrogen stations. For example, Japan, South Korea, and several European countries have increased the number of hydrogen stations to meet the demand for hydrogen fuel cell cars. Despite some potential advantages, hydrogen energy cars face challenges and drawbacks. These cars require dedicated hydrogen refueling stations, and expanding the network is a significant task. Currently, hydrogen infrastructure is limited globally restricting the use and adoption of hydrogen energy cars. The manufacturing cost of hydrogen fuel cell cars is high, including the complexity of fuel cell systems, the use of rare metals, and the cost of high-pressure hydrogen storage containers. This results in a relatively high selling price for hydrogen fuel cell cars, 
limiting large-scale commercialization. Additionally, hydrogen fuel cell cars need to convert hydrogen gas and oxygen into electricity to drive the vehicle, and this process has a relatively lower energy conversion efficiency, around 30%, compared to electric cars, safety is a critical issue. Hydrogen gas is stored in high-pressure containers for vehicle use. However, designing and manufacturing high-pressure hydrogen containers require meeting stringent safety requirements to prevent hydrogen leaks and explosion risks. The safety of hydrogen storage and transportation remains a crucial consideration. Recently, Lu Ku, a foreign academician of the Australian Academy of Engineering, pointed out that potential hazards in hydrogen use could be a significant obstacle to the industrialization of hydrogen cars. Although countries with a combined economic output of 75% of the global total are currently developing the hydrogen energy industry, Lu Ku believes the fundamental reason for the industrialization of hydrogen-powered vehicles is that hydrogen is not suitable as a shared energy carrier for the public. He mentioned two key factors, the smallest molecule and the widest explosion range. Point one. The smallest molecule, hydrogen, as the smallest molecule on the periodic table, is also the easiest to leak. The volumetric energy density of hydrogen gas is the smallest, and the need for storage and transportation can only be increased by increasing pressure. Currently, all hydrogen fuel cell cars have storage tanks at 350 and 700 kg per square centimeter. If hydrogen tanks are not designed with stainless steel, they must be made very thick due to the high pressure. Anyone with a scientific background knows that manufacturing high-pressure equipment at 700 kg of pressure is quite challenging. Point two dot the widest explosion range. In 2023, Many places successively clarified that hydrogen production and refueling stations do not need to enter chemical industrial parks, and green hydrogen production does not require hazardous chemical permits. However, this does not mean that hydrogen is no longer dangerous. Luku also mentioned that there is no problem with hydrogen gas outdoors. In experiments more than 20 years ago, it was observed that the hydrogen tank of a hydrogen refueling car is generally placed at the rear for safety. Ordinary rifles cannot penetrate it. Because hydrogen gas is light and behaves like a hydrogen balloon, shooting a spark into the air, the temperature in the driver's compartment does not rise too high, and there is enough time for people to escape. However, in enclosed spaces, the extremely wide explosion range poses a significant threat. The explosion range of 4% to 74% makes hydrogen the gas with the widest explosion range. Less than 4% is safe, more than 74% only catches fire without exploding. However, within this broad range of 4% to 74%, encountering a spark can lead to an explosion and major hydrogen demonstration cities, especially in cities like Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen in China, where over 90% of cars are parked in underground garages, the potential risk is substantial. If a hydrogen leak occurs, even though it is a low-probability event, with the use of numerous vehicles, components may age and issues like valve and pipeline aging or accidental impacts during driving could happen. In the event of a leak followed by a spark, explosions could occur, leading to a chain reaction, potentially causing significant damage to a building. Therefore, the use of hydrogen in enclosed spaces demands extreme caution. The characteristics of hydrogen make its industrialization particularly challenging. These issues are considered fatal flaws for hydrogen energy cars by some. However, continuous technological and infrastructure development may gradually overcome these problems, making hydrogen fuel cell cars an essential choice for future zero-emission transportation. Hydrogen energy technology has found applications in specific areas such as buses, 
logistics transportation, and commercial vehicles. These sectors can address hydrogen infrastructure challenges through centralized hydrogen stations and fixed routes, providing better economic and environmental benefits. Hydrogen fuel cell technology is in a phase of continuous improvement and innovation. Researchers and manufacturers are working to enhance the performance and durability of hydrogen fuel cells, reduce costs, and improve hydrogen storage and refueling technologies. In conclusion, let's summarize for our readers, hoping you've gained insights and reflections. In exploring the current status of hydrogen energy cars, we've identified challenges, but at the same time, immense potential. So, what insights does this provide for our lives and future energy choices? Firstly, technological innovation is key to driving progress in the energy industry. Through continuous improvement and innovation in hydrogen fuel cell technology, we witness significant achievements in advancing clean energy. This inspires us to recognize that the future energy revolution depends on the development of cutting-edge technologies, crucial not only for environmental concerns, but also for the quality of our lives and sustainable energy use. Secondly, energy choices need diversification. The emergence of electric cars and hydrogen energy cars offers diverse energy options. In the future, we might witness different types of vehicles coexisting on the roads, each leveraging its advantages to meet the needs of various users. This brings more possibilities to our energy future and reminds us that when seeking energy alternatives, a comprehensive consideration of various technologies and feasibility is necessary. Lastly, we must balance technological development with safety concerns. While hydrogen energy cars showcase technological innovations, they also raise safety concerns. This realization emphasizes the need to prioritize safety while pursuing technological progress. For hydrogen energy cars, safety issues require thorough attention and resolution to ensure the widespread adoption of new energy technologies doesn't bring potential risks. What are your expectations for the future of energy choices? Is it for more environmentally friendly electric cars? Or are you hopeful for the rise of hydrogen energy cars? In this future full of possibilities, we might need to collectively work towards advancing clean energy technology. Stay tuned for our next deep dive into the mysteries of the energy field, exploring more innovative technologies and possibilities for sustainable development. Are you ready? Looking forward to meeting you again, that wraps up today's video. Stay tuned for the next exciting content. Until next time, goodbye, and see you again. Again. Again.